All right, let's just let's just play the video. Most people only pay attention to the final product of a successful entrepreneur. They say things like, I can never be like them, or they got lucky. What most don't see is what they've overcome. All the struggles, the daily rejections, the heartaches, the betrayals, the rumors, the criticism, the empty bank account, and all those lonely nights while trying to make their vision a reality. You see, the only difference between the one who quits and the one who doesn't is that they showed up every day. They worked hard every day. They hustled every day. They learned from a proven mentor every day. They improved every day. They did all this even though they felt like quitting every day. And eventually, they became who they are today. It's crazy how far we have come. Um, I've com I commented on this video, uh, you know, right before I was me when I was at 600 subscribers, just dreaming to be a YouTuber. And you know, from your guys' support and hard work and just pushing through, you guys, you guys just killed it. Um, it's crazy how far we've came. Quitting will never be an option. Don't worry. And. Um, I cannot wait to show you guys this 335 and hopefully I'll be getting to 335 within this week. Smoking with the Migos, it's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Now I know I promised you guys there's gonna be no more videos till I get the 335. But to be honest guys, um, I've been reading your guys' comments and it looks like you guys think I quit YouTube and I don't wanna push it another week or two without uploads. I think a week of you guys messaging me telling me have you played YouTube or not is long enough. I can even see the video is about almost at 2,000 views, which is kind of crazy considering this is a subscriber video. Um, it's subscriber oriented. It's not really to attract new subscribers. It's specifically just talking to you guys. And I'm sure a couple of you guys replayed it, but a couple of you guys still think that I quit. I'm not quitting. No way will I ever quit till the day I die. Period. Now my, I'm, I'm reading a couple comments right now. Like Jacob Ardotti said, I'm gonna have to dislike this. You better get back. You better get back to making some content. Um, now I love you, Jacob, but you gotta know that in some cases, it's better not to make content at all than to make bad content. Now I'm reading out the YouTubers' comments first because a couple of my friends commented. I'm surprised a lot of my other friends that are YouTubers didn't comment at all. But that's probably because they understood what I was saying and they knew where I was coming from. So they were like, all right. He's gonna be taking a little bit of a break in order to bring the good content back. Now, Shamil, he's saying, you're letting the views count, you're letting it get to you, worry less about the views, and um, the better everything will turn out. Now, I 100% agree with him, but this is not about the views. To be honest with you guys, I haven't been enjoying making these last couple of videos. I've been literally dreading editing these videos. I'm just like, man, I have to upload. I'm trying to upload like every single day, but these videos are just garbage. Like, I, won't, I wouldn't watch them. So at the same time, I'm thinking about just taking those videos down because why am I expecting you guys to watch them? So I was like, you know, instead of uploading every single day some useless content, I'm just gonna wait till I get some good content and then upload that for you guys. Now to read the most liked comments, he says, at least a vlog for us for you searching for the 335i. I've been looking for a 335i for a couple months now, so starting a vlog now would be kind of random, but the time has come to where I've officially sold the Z, I got the money in my hand, and I'm gonna be making a bid on a car. Actually, you guys are going to be seeing later today, I'm going to be placing a bid on a car. Hopefully, I win it. If I don't, there's going to be a part two to this video. But I'm going to show you guys how Copart works and how the bidding process works and how easy it is, honestly, to bid on a car. And, you know, hopefully I can get a good project for the low and invest a lot of money into it, turning something, you know, into a beast. Because you guys know me, I like picking something that's from nothing and turning it into something. I don't like picking up something that's already like unpackaged and everything, fully spec'd out into where I can't really do much with it. I appreciate you saying 
you know, my, my videos are awesome or helpful. Um, I really do appreciate that. But let's be honest, not all my videos are like that. So I'm going to be uploading only when the content is good. Hopefully when I get this 335 by the next week, maybe the next couple of days, maybe tomorrow, who knows, um, I'm going to be posting some insane content. Now this is what the comments really get to me. Like this comment surprisingly got eight likes. It says, don't quit now. You came this far to quit. You're making it too hard on yourself. Breathe, have fun, you know, and um, make videos while, until I get to 335. To be honest, that's what I've been doing. I've been stretching it out, making random videos until I get to 335. So I haven't really been devoting 100% of my time to sell the Z and actually, um, you know, search for the right 335i. So now with all this time off, I did add a lot of uh, 335i's to my watch list that are within the area of my, you know, within the vicinity of my house. Um, so I'm going to be bidding on those cars in the next week. If you guys want to see me bidding on more cars, I'm going to be showing you guys one bidding in the end of this video. If you guys want me to show you, you know, the bidding process, how to hire a broker, you know, how easy it is to bid on a car, a project car. You know, I even found an M3 E36. Um, that was, you know, manual, clean title, only it had 180,000 miles, but it's a clean title manual coupe, and it went out for $2,000. So I actually wanted to bid on that car, but at the same time, I know th that my audience is not looking for that car. They're looking for a 335. But just to see the potential projects that are on Copart are very inspirational, and I want to show you guys how you can bid and get any car you want for the low and work on it. And you know, you can probably make your own YouTube channel from it because that's how YouTube works. Be yourself, do what you think is best for your audience and have fun working on, um, you know, in my case, cars. In your guys' case, probably gonna be cars because you guys are all enthusiasts. Now there's a lot of comments. I'm not gonna go through them all. Like this one, this one comment says, cool, unsubbed for you quitting and abandoning the 330i. First off, I'm not quitting. Second off, I'm not abandoning the 330. Um, the 330 is my baby. It's what resurrected this channel. It's what you know started this whole thing. I mean, I love my 330i, but you guys gotta understand, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you guys. I feel like I can live with a 330i. I'm not a big racer. I don't really care about you know winning a race or whatever. That's not me. I don't care. I care about making content for you guys. So having a 330i that's fully cosmetically almost done, I mean, I could get some, I could lower the car, I could add some rims, which cost me a couple grand, or I can go get a 335i project for only a couple grand and have a lot of videos for you guys to see. So I'm not abandoning the 330i, I'm just reinvesting my money into another project that can hopefully grow my channel some more to where I can you know, do those crazy things to do. I didn't even bag it. Who knows? Now, there's a lot of comments that we're going to have to go through, which I'm not down at, you know, at the moment. Um, but I do appreciate all you guys who've been showing me support on my Instagram and reaching out to me. Um, I'm not quitting. If anything, I'm working my best to get you guys the best project on this channel. I really hope I have no bidding issues. Like, it'll let me bid, you know? Swear to God if I have some bidding issues. I'm going to bid, like, the first one just to make sure. No bonus time. Come on. Yeah, I would cry. No bonus time. Yellow, let's go. Let's go. Dude, my heart is beating so hard. I don't know why. It's stressful, bro. Shit, dude, my heart's hell low. I'm about to pass out. Damn. Two K. Please, 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 please. No. Twenty one, that's it, that's it. Come on, please. Please, please stop. Don't be dumb, bro. No bro. This other guy in Mexico, man, he's gonna get it. Alright, as you guys can see, I'm back in the garage and I didn't win the car. So not everything always goes according to plan. You need to know when you gotta stop. I saved enough money. I, okay, I'm gonna tell you guys my budget. Like let's be honest here. I have my car. I put a lot of money into fixing it these last couple months and last couple weeks, and I put a lot of money into the Z trying to get it fixed to sell. 
because I'm not gonna sell a car to my friend that's messed up. So my budget is around 4K. That's my budget. Now you guys are saying, how are you gonna get a 435 for 4K? To be honest, it's very easy to get a 435 for under even 3K, 2K from Copart. So what I'm trying to do is get the car under 2K. That's the goal. I could probably go 21 or 22, but I'm saving a lot of the money to, to you know, fully customize it, fully modify it, maybe even turn it into a, you know, a baby M3 and push the horsepower to something phenomenal. I want to have some money left over to do that. So I could go ahead, put a $4,000 down payment on a new car, you know, an M package, 335i with low mileage, but where is the videos? I'm not going to have money. I'm going to be in the exact same situation I'm currently in now. And I'm just like, it's not worth it. So when I was looking at that car, guys, I was getting a little bit frustrated because only one other person was bidding against me. And um, if he wasn't there, I probably could have got the car for even a grand, to be honest with you guys. BMWs typically don't have good resale value. That one had about an $8,000 retail value. But considering it's salvage, it's worth around five. And considering that the damage is, you know, got a new bumper, hood, fender, and a headlight, it was probably worth around two grand. It went out for 25, I believe, something like that. I don't distinctly remember. I just remember myself raging. I'm gonna try to cut off and censor the audio. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna end this video. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate those of you guys who didn't unsub and who didn't think I quit because I would never quit. I focus on my dreams. I focus on you guys, and that's what this channel is all about. So remember, guys, stay humble, and I see you guys in the next one. Peace out. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. She got me saying, Yalla, huh, baby? I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl. We know you ain't easy. You know.